What's going on YouTube? JT Userborn here and welcome back to another edition of my DC Comic Reviews. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Batman issue number 130, written by Chip Zdarsky, art by Jorge Jimenez. And there's also the Zura Na year one storyline, also written by Zdarsky. And uh, this is going to be an issue I think I can see going like either way for some people. Some people may enjoy the ridiculousness of the beginning and others will find it to be like the dumbest thing possible. So I can see it going either way depending on your taste. Like this feels like something out of the 60s show amplified to even the extreme. But at least at the 60s show, it, it felt more in tune with something that would happen there. And even then they'd still have their proper protection and like it would seem a little bit more realistic for them to how they'd survive. And I get it. This is a comic book and sometimes some really crazy wacky things happen. This feels like Superman four quest for peace levels are ridiculous. You know how they were on the moon and just like talking and all that other stuff. That's this issue in a nutshell. It's just the opening of this thing is the most insane thing I've read. Like this is the most ridiculous Batman issue I've read all year without question batman somehow survives going from the moon to earth not inside a ship just in his bat suit and he's got a little face mask on and he's traveling like thousands of miles an hour and somehow not slipping or falling off or anything like that this is the most ridiculous batman comic he somehow survives falling from the moon back to earth no parachutes no nothing somehow not burning up in the atmosphere mind you and just lands perfectly fine on his feet you're either going to appreciate the, the comic book goofy ridiculousness of this thing, or you're going to find it to be the dumbest thing possible. And I maybe both at the same time, because this is just like insane, like how ridiculous it is. How, how Batman survives not burning up in the Earth's atmosphere and just lands perfectly fine. So yeah, so he this suit should not take bullet damage. He is pretty much immortal at this point. Batman has ridiculous plot armor at this point. I'd it's kind of insane and failsafe the same thing the most ridiculous op villain i've seen in quite a while even when superman gets back up like how does he not rip this machine like limb from limb like into pieces and just nobody is able to stop this thing well it's made from a metal like no it's not completely invulnerable and things it's just failsafe is made out to be the most powerful thing in existence in this batman comic so uh positive aspects uh Batman and Tim kind of teaming up. Tim is not written to be super obnoxious or anything like that. It feels more like Tim Drake and just him teaming up with Batman, which is good. This is good. This is a good showing of Tim Drake in this book. So uh, way better than in his uh, own crappy solo book. And then uh, we also get Superman versus... Uh, fail safe and of course Superman gets his ass beat because only Batman can stop fail safe as we're going to probably find out in the next couple of issues and uh yeah like I said there's some good artwork in here Jimenez is good at what he does uh then we get kind of a weird cliffhanger right here where Batman is seemingly torched to death by fail safe and it says finale but we all know Batman's not really gonna die this is set before Dark Crisis and Batman comes back in Dark Crisis and of course and yada 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 blah 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 but it says finale right here so We'll see what happens next with all this stuff. Maybe it's it blasted through time or something. I don't exactly know. And then we get the weird Batman and Zerana backups. Uh, I still don't fully like grasp the whole Zerana thing. It's always been kind of confusing to me. It, it, it's it's not really like anything all that great or special. I think I just I don't get why we even like really needed the whole Zerana thing in general but basically it goes into explain oh, sorry i'm yawning right now because i just didn't care much for the backup uh, of how batman and suppresses are and ah and why he doesn't kill it's not an old-timey art style so i appreciate that aspect of it and it's also written by zadarsky but as it stands i thought the backup was just okay the the main issue is so ridiculous that it's something that i won't forget anytime soon batman just somehow like uh surviving not burning up in the earth's atmosphere like you could have had him jump onto a ship or something even fast and furious 9 when they take their little cars and rocket up into space seems less ridiculous than this issue uh which is saying something i mean this is so crazy and just so batshit unrealistic and all that but at the same time i kind of admire how dumb it is in some ways it kind of just makes me chuckle a little bit like this is superman four quest for peace levels of ridiculous if if anything so i don't know like maybe i'm in two camps of this thing i think it's one of the dumbest issues of the batman run but it's also kind of I, I kind of admire it because of that because it just goes so unrealistic so batshit crazy well, no pun intended, that I kind of admire it for that. So I'm in two camps on this issue. Like, I guess you could say I'm kind of mixed. 
I, I just appreciate how dumb it is. It, it, it's a so bad it's good kind of thing with how dumb the intro of this issue is and how Batman somehow does not burn up in the atmosphere given all that's kind of established within DC Comics lore. I mean, yeah, this is a comic book. There's going to be ridiculous, goofy stuff in here, but within the lore we established, he shouldn't have survived that. So take it for what it's worth. Uh, if you have any thoughts on the issue, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, all that other fun stuff, and that'll catch me up for the DC comic book reviews for this week. Not too many, but next week I should pick up the pace a little bit more. I think there's going to be more issues coming out. Uh, tune in tomorrow. I'm going to cover the latest issue of the Godzilla Monster Protectors All Hail the King, because uh, I haven't read it yet, and I just noticed, oh, hey, a new Godzilla comic book that i got to talk about. So look forward to all that stuff. All right, well, that's all Sean has to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.